Okay, um, you mentioned the Panjmuk there, which we will get to in a second, but I just want to go back to the goats. You can argue Gorshish is going off Gorsing's account, and Gorsing is the one to mention the presence of the goats being beheaded. Gorshish slightly changes his tune in terms of he's saying that it's the individuals who come forward that slaughter the goats, not Guru Sahib himself. To be fair, it doesn't matter who does it. The goats are slaughtered as far as the pre-colonial texts are concerned. What is going on there? Like, what is like a, like, because obviously you would have had to consider it in your PhD thesis. What's going on there? But secondly, does that, is that where Chatka comes from? What, I guess what I'm actually asking is what's going on in the initial Vasaki ceremonies and then secondly how has that tradition kind of been continued in particularly by the Nahangs if you found this interesting and wanted to find out what the real history behind Vasaki 1699 really is then you can find the full length video on my YouTube channel either use the link in my bio or search ramblings of a Sikh on YouTube